everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to the second video where I show you guys how I converted up a unit of Skaven Starfiends to fit my warband, the Scurvy Boys, which is basically the pirate, Skaven Pirates of the Warhammer world. Uh, this is the second one, make sure to check out the first one, it goes into the it goes into more detail about what's going on, what the project is about. Uh, but this is the second Starfiend I'm working on for the warband. And the first one was all about melee and close combat weapons. This guy is all about the ranged weapons. So I built the guy, put him together. The only things I left out was his arms. And I cut a bit. Obviously I left off his armor as well. And I cut off a bit of his tail. Because that's the kind of a team that I have going with him. Uh, but that's covered in the first video. And um, So I started off by making sure everything is kind of flat. With the chest piece and the two arms. And um, where the hands would be. Because they're kind of at a, like an awkward level like that. So I want to make sure to get them all flat so I can fit everything in. So the first thing I wanted to add was this amazing uh, piece from the Ogre Stonehorn Thunder Tusk kit. Which is this big ass crossbow. I've had it for so long. I've been really wanting to use it for something. I didn't know what. But I knew eventually I'm going to use this piece for something. It's a really good bit to have. Um, that kit is amazing to get for bits. It's really old. Well it's not really old but it's old enough now. And I've had it since it first came out. That's how long I've had this bit for. Um, so I didn't change anything with that, I just put it all together. The hand is attached to it, which is really handy. You don't have to work out anything about trying to fit a hand uh, to hold it and everything like that. So that's going to fit in for his right hand. I think about it there for a second. That's going to be his right hand. Um, the hand is a little bit smaller than the, than I would like it to be, but if it's fine. It fits just barely. Um, so for the centerpiece, he the normal model has like this kind of Gatling gun thing sticking out and I'd never like that at all so what I wanted to do was put maybe like a symbol for the Skaven for the Great Horned Rat here and I got this piece from the Plague Monks kit which is really good for bits I've used a couple of bits out with for this you'll see later on and um, so I glued that onto his chest it's really nice to have there and then I glued uh, the crossbow on now there's another really important bit this is why you have to have it level because the hand make sure you get the hand bit level and it'll fit in perfectly now when you don't put the armor on he looks really good except for his back the back part is kind of molded where it's made for the armor so it doesn't look like a smooth back um, and I smoothed out as much parts as I could but I forgot, really, I forgot about this other really cool bit that was with the stone horn which was you know the thing to hold the arrows so I glued that on that's where his arrows are going to be kept and um, then I moved on to his left hand it was left hand I really didn't know what to do because I, I maybe it's just me but with a lot of warhammer stuff you'll either get like really good ranged weapons but it's all for like the right hand or it's just all for the left hand so i found this kind of big lump of warp stone that has like a claw around it in the plague monks kit and it's like that's awesome just it's like a big lump of warp stone he's going to hold on to maybe that's where he gets his power from maybe he's going to shoot some warp lightning from it or something like that that fits with the long range aesthetic that i was going for so that's what i went with now then i just added a few little bits onto the crossbow just to flesh out the model a little bit more as well so what i did was i stuck on a couple of skulls and this other kind of uh scroll thing from the plague monks kit just to kind of flesh it out a little bit more add a little bit more detail to the model and that was it there wasn't really a whole lot to change it just more adding bits than anything so for the base thing just like the other guy i wanted to make sure to have uh, the, the, the pirate ship base on it which is like wooden planks, they're all wonky, they're all broken, they're all cut up in bits um, so I wanted that to go on there. so I cut up some balsa wood into strips like that and um, get them all out of shape and everything and glue them on with super glue and then like cut up the edges, make sure it fits the base and then dirty them up as well, like put a couple of cuts in them roughen up the edges, put a couple of cuts in uh, the wooden planks itself it looks like there's holes in the ship and everything like that just to fit the aesthetic of pirate, you know. As you see here, I'm cutting a couple of a ho couple of holes in it as well. So it worked out really well, and it turned out really good in the end as well. And there you have the finished one. Oh, I forgot to mention that I do have his handler on the base as well. Each there's three in the unit, and each one is going to have their own handler because the base is pretty big. There's enough on it to go around. So I was happy to kind of put their own handler on it as well. That's just a handler from the Rad Ogre kit. And nothing really changed and it was just stuck on there as normal. But I really like converting up these guys. There's one more left to do. That is the guy with... Uh, he's a, he's going to be a little bit more mixed with the range and the close combat. So we're going to get a good look at him in the next video. But let me know what you guys think about this conversion in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of the Skaven Pirates. The Scurvy Boys. I think they're amazing. I got the idea from some of the old Skaven books. I'm surprised there's not many people doing some of this stuff as well. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this video so far, the whole project. Make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.